Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to take a closer look at switch statements. We've already seen a basic example, but switch statements have more depth and versatility than we might think. So let's explore. The basic structure. A switch statement allows you to select one of many code blocks to be executed. Uh, it works by evaluating an expression and it matches its value against various case labels. All right, so your basic syntax, as you can see, we have a switch um, expression. Yeah, your case value one, then whatever your code is to go, then a break. Your case, whatever your second value is, whatever your code you want to execute for that uh, case, then your break, and you can put in as many of these as you want. Then you have your default code block. So what's going to execute what everybody else did? Um, so let's look at a more detailed example. That was it, days of the week. So let's revisit and expand on um, the days of the week example. So it's day equals three. Let's assume this value comes from a user input or another part of your program. Let's go do that. Um, and we're going to switch on that variable day. Um, and for case one, when day equals one, we're going to print out Monday and then we'll break out of this switch statement. Um, case two, if day equals two, we're going um, to say um, Tuesday. And we're going to break, get out of the switch uh, statement, and so on and so on. Okay. So we saw this before. So for day three, we should get a Wednesday. Okay. So in this example, the value of day determines which case block is executed. The default block is executed if none of the cases match. And we can use strings and switch state and switch and switch statements can also work with strings starting from uh, Java seven. Uh, so, let's get an example of some greetings you may say based off the day. If it was a string instead. So, we're going to look at Wednesday. Oh, dude. So, string day equals Wednesday. And let's just assume this value comes from user input again. This method, now you want to get it. Okay. Um, so we're going to switch on the day again, but now day is a string. And now the cases are strings. So we're going to take and see if day was equal to Monday. Okay, we'll print out start of the week, work week. Um, then we break out of the switch case uh, or switch state screen. Case was Tuesday. Okay, so the second day of the work week. Break out of it. Wednesday, mid midday week. Uh, Thursday, almost weekend, Friday, end of the work week, Saturday, don't even say anything because it's going to be the same as Sunday. It's the weekend. Okay, we got it. Otherwise, it's the default day. Okay, it's got to be valid. So it's going to be one of those, right? Uh, notice here with Saturday, but don't have to have anything because it's going to have the same case as Sunday. That's why I also don't break things. Okay. Here's a day variable in in. Here, the day variable is a string. And the switch statement evaluates it accordingly. Note that both Saturday and Sunday share the same case block, determining this demonstrating how multiple cases can lead to the same outcome. Another way to do this. Cases written out. All right. Um, so something I did show earlier, let's talk about a fall through behavior. Yeah, fall through. Like a word fall. So in switch statements, if you forget the break statement, the program will continue executing the next case's code block as a, as a behavior known as fall through. So let's look at an example of a fall through.
So if a equals three, and we're gonna switch on day again. But no breaks this time, except on Friday. All right, so uh, those are gonna validate. So let's take a look here. Three, boom, boom. As soon as we got the three, it just got all the rest of them. So it's all break. So as soon as this happened, it's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna put everything else. Okay. So it's kind of like a first come, then everything else has to follow through as well. That's why it's a fall through. So in this case, because there is no break statement after Monday, the program will print. Uh, excuse me. Because there's no break after uh, Wednesday, the program will print Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, this is be. This off. This is often a source of bugs. As you see, so be cautious and ensure that break statements are used as needed. You can use this to your advantage if you want. So some advanced examples. Be like if you're doing a grading system. So let's create a more complex example uh, of a grading system that categori categorizes scores into grades. So here, int score equals eighty-five. But this time we're going to switch on score divided by 10. So there's int, there's not int. We don't have a decimal. So 85 divided by 10 will give us the 8. So we can just say, hey, case 10, and it will fall through because it was 100. So it's the same thing as being A. So it falls through here. Case 9, and that runs a break there. So we'll just type use fall through to your bench. Um, but in this case, case 8. So uh, 85 divided by 10 will give us 8. So this is the end of this. Uh, so right there, okay. In this example, we're dividing the score by 10 to reduce the range of possible values. Um, and this way, a score of 85, will, which falls in the range of 80 to 89, will correspond to a case value of 8 and print grade B. So some key points to remember. One, use break. <laughs> Always include break statements unless you intentionally want fall through behavior. Two, default case. <laughs> include a default case to handle unexpected values. Three. Your data types. Switch can handle int, char, string, and enum types. Can we talk about enum yet? Let's find that first in this case. Um, if for efficiency, for certain scenarios, switch statements can be more efficient and readable than long if else change, especially if they're nested. Um, but not always. So be mindful of that. So, in conclusion, now, <clears throat> now you should have more comprehensive understanding of switch statements as well and how to use them effectively in your programs. Experiment with these structures to see how they can simplify your decision making logic. Happy coding, everyone. Yeah, Fizzy told me to switch the style up, and if it breaks, then let it break. And with the Java taste, great. 